Are you feeling emotionally trapped? Are you stressed and feel very unstable? These emotional disturbances can have a massive negative effect on your physical health. Watch my video to learn how your emotional health affects your physical health. Hello, I am Rajita Bamakandi, registered nurse, faith-based holistic coach, and founder of Healthy You Lifestyle Center. If you want to develop healthy habits for life, one step at a time, click the red subscribe button and the bell icon now. Emotional health is the way we feel and how the feelings affect us. Emotional stress plays a massive impact on our physical health. In order to have a healthy mind, we need to have a healthy emotional state. And that healthy emotional state will impact in having a healthy physical body and physical well-being. So both our mental health and our physical health are reliant on our emotional well-being. People who are emotionally balanced are aware of their thoughts, feelings, and they know how to manage their activities of daily life. These people have mastered their feelings. They know how to manage the daily stress that's a normal part of our life and balancing them makes them feel very happy and healthy. They are in a healthy state of mind and body because they know how to balance their emotions and their stress that comes as a part of our daily life. But from time to time, life does throw a curb at us and our emotional distress does happen. And that's when we start feeling sad, anxious, and stress. When our emotional health is disturbed, our body reacts to the way we feel, think, and act. It disturbs our physical health because of the sadness or stress that we are feeling. For example, if a situation occurs where you are stressed, your blood pressure could go up or you could have a stomach ulcer that upsets your stomach because of your feelings that are going on in your head because you're emotionally imbalanced at this time. Sometimes even good and unwanted changes can play an emotional stress on us, such as being laid off from a job, a child leaving the house, or a child returning back into your home. What type of unwanted stressors have you faced? Tell me in the comments below and continue watching this video until the end to learn about how to balance your health to stay physically fit. There are ways you can improve your emotional health and keep your physical health in check. Let's review the six strategies that will help you keep your emotional health in balance to keep your physical health in check. Number one, understand your emotional feelings and try to recognize why you are feeling sad, stressed, and then number two, express your feelings by doing expressive writing. Put it on paper. Number three, start a gratitude journal. Every day, write down what you're grateful for. Research shows that by having a positive outlook, you can have a good emotional health and feel 
happy and content. Number four, reach out to your social support. Reach out to your friends, family, who will listen to you and understands you. That will help you have a positive outlook on life. Number five, practice relaxation techniques, such as doing deep breathing, meditation, yoga, listening to music. That will help you calm your mind and understand your feelings that way. Number six, eat nutritious meals and make sure you have at least seven to eight hours of sleep. Refrain from drinking too much alcohol and overeating. Our emotions are always alive. They are constantly playing in the background. They never take a break. Sometimes people get into deep water by being reactive because of their way they're feeling, because they do not know how to hit a pause button. I have been there. By constantly practicing and being intentional about my emotions, I have been able to hit a pause button that has not only helped me have a healthy emotional health, but also physical well-being. It does take practice. Consistency is the key. Practicing it over and over again. It is a process. It does not happen over time, but you need to be intentional about practicing those emotions, how you can write it down, hit that pause button instead of being reactive all the time. Pause, take a couple deep breaths, think about it, and then act according to the situation. Emotional health is crucial to physical well-being. Emotional stress compromises your immune system elevates your blood pressure, elevates your blood sugars, and puts you at a higher risk for heart disease. So it is very important to address your emotions, understand your feelings, and then deal with them accordingly. You might need to go see a physician who can help you understand your emotional stress so that you can have a physical well-being. It takes time to understand your emotions. The secret to physical well-being is to understand our emotional health, to understand the feelings and address them. You have to know to listen to your body and listen to your emotions and then deal with them accordingly. Not too long ago, people discarded that emotions do not play a role, but emotions do play a big piece in your physical well-being. Download my free How to Manage Job Stress. The link to the free download is in the description box below. I am your faith-based holistic coach. Until next time, choose the right option.